Hmm. Where all the collectible ones went. That's what I'm mainly here for. Wanna find some more holes of ones I'm out. A different Kroger. I can't. Okay. That's a 4.5, I might take that one up. I'm mainly looking for the uh, Cars and Donuts ones. Those are cool as I want to be able to stupid kids for this bit. Yeah. Fairly got some fair lady. Pass. Oh no. I'm at the store by doing nothing. It's actually looking to be fine. Can't find the question, we'll have to ask him where he found them. So this machine's just whining at me to please leave the last one. Scanner scale, but I'll just show you what cars I got. So for Matchbox, I got a Galarado police car, Porsche 934 4.5, BMW M4, 95 miles RX7, my favorite. That's my Pro T10, 67 Pontiac GTO, and the 250 Mercedes AMG GT. And I have a couple more back at uh, the house, so uh, we'll take a look at those. So I'm just going to go ahead and check these out. So, see you there. So, hello, ladies and gentlemen. U221 here. I don't think I said that a little bit in my the store hunt, but you see there's all the cars I got, but I got two more from David Michelson. I got a uh, 2013 Chevrolet Hot Wheels Chevrolet Samara Special Edition. It's a real car, actually. And a McLaren P1. So, that's actually all for the two cars that David Michelson got me. And there's all the cars I, well, mentioned. So, we'll take a first look at the first one, which is the Lamborghini Galarado. An example of classic Lambos. Galarado is one of the sickest. Huracans thinks the best. Well, my all-time favorite is the, the uh, 90s Diablo. But, let's take a look at the package. Globe Travelers, 65th anniversary, it's Matchbox, 65th anniversary, Matchbox, Europe in the background, Compass, Lamborghini, Colorado, match, the Matchbox itself, we'll take a look at that once we unbox it, 65th anniversary, the back, Matchbox.com, Keys Coding, Globe Travelers, Lamborghini, Colorado, Chase Down Crime and Patrol the Streets of London in Style, Countries in the background, bit copyright, barcodes, which are the random stuff now for use of some matchbox set, ages three and up, which is actually a collector, so it has rubber tires, but plastic base, not metal to metal, but it's, it's not like one of those like adult collectors, but it's a special series car, but with that said, let's open this beauty up. So here's the Galarado and the Matchbox out of the box. So let's take a look at the Matchbox thing. So, Matchbox, the car itself, Lamborghini Galarado, 65th anniversary, Globe Travelers, Lamborghini Galarado. Same thing as the other side, I think it's Europe. And we have, it's probably Streets of London. It says a London police car and it looks like a British police car. Lamborghini. Trademarks. It's off of the matchbox. Let's take a look at the car itself. So this is a beautiful looking thing. So you have rubber tires. So a uh, blue outline, BBS. Black plastic base. 212 Patel, Lamborghini. Colorado LP 564 Paul Liza. Paul Probably Italian for police. So the police stripes. I always liked how little police cars look. 65, always seen, probably seen it for 65th anniversary. It says Metro uh, 510 or S10. Caution tape. Well, not actually caution tape. Caution reflectors, probably. It's white. Police. Matchbox police logo, probably. Focus. 
uh, blue stripes or caution caution reflectors headlights are pretty detailed it says police on the side there matchbox police logo like bikini logo pretty get some vents air dam got a siren on the roof which is probably a part of the window piece the same as the other side the back more police stripes Lamborghini which air dam there tail lights police quad exhaust which I think is just amazing love Lambos since for London why is it left hand drive you want my interior is black Seems okayly detailed. And that's it for the Lamborghini Galarado LP6564 Poliza. Or police, probably Italian for police. So let's go on to the next car. The 2013 Hot Wheel Chevrolet Samaro Special Edition. So yeah, it's a pretty cool one. There's actually a Hot Wheels actually Hot Wheels actually can join Chevrolet to make like a Hot Wheels branded Samaro. I actually saw one of those the other day, I think. But let's take a look at the package. It's these are all 2017 cars, by the way. I got got them in a different Kroger than usual. Got them out in a, one out in Fairborn, but let's take a look at the package. So guaranteed for life. 246 out of 365 Hot Wheels. The Samaro itself, 3 out of 5, Samaro 50 years, celebrating 50, 50 years of Samaro. Turn through with Hollywood Show with Samaro Special Edition, you just turn it up. The back, case coating, warranty, Samaro 50 years, celebrating 50 years of Samaro. We'll try out with this collection. Copyright. GM. Metal Motors. That's all for this package, so let's open the car up. Here's a smile out of the package, so yeah. This one looks pretty good. So let's take a look at it. So the PR5s with yellow outline around them. Some yellow stripes on the sides, orange. Black plastic base, to Antoine Mattel. Hot Wheels. Stripes, I already mentioned, there's an intake right there. So one right there, I don't think so. The Samara Grill, the Chevrolet logo, headlights. The grill, air dam, and fog lights. Bonnet stripes on it. Oh. Got a little chip on it. Also, it's also the Hot Wheels logo. Who knows what that's about? As I mentioned, people in Mattel don't take their time to make these cars, so they just brush them together and they don't really care. Tail lights. Shut my logo. One exhaust license plate indicators. Interior black. Can't really tell much in there. It's kind of narrow, but it's all for the 2018 Hot Wheels Chevrolet Samaro um, special edition. Let's go on to the next car. The 67 Pontiac GTO, right? The 67. This is a classic American muscle car. It's pretty heavy, actually, but still, it's a beautiful classic American muscle car. I specifically like the 1968 GTO. It's my favorite. So let's take a look at it. Guaranteed for life. 359 out of 365. Wheels logo, the GTO, 8 out of 10. Muscle Mania. Yeah, muscle. So it's muscle. 
you just three and up. Um, case coding, lifetime limited warranty, 1967 Pontiac GTO, Muscle Mania. Custom strip muscle cars that look good driving around town or racing. 8 out of 10. Will your Hot Wheels collection by visiting www.hotwheels.com or the code to showcase your cars. Trademark. GM. Barcode. Just three and up. But that said, let's open the car up. Let's take a look at the juicy out of package. Yes, this one's pretty heavy, yeah. I think there's a faster than ever, I don't know. But take a look at it. It's a nice yellow color. We kind of have the bronze five spoke, Hot Wheels logo, various stripes around it. Chrome to plastic base. It's kind of hard to read. It's 1996 Mattel. This must be an older one. I don't really call it being that old, but Hot Wheels. And taking the bonnet, there's stripes on there, the headlights and the grill, license plate, tail lights, license plate, dual exhaust. Yeah, it's one of those really chromey cars. Still looks good though. Interior, can't really see inside there. Oh, there we go. It basically just appears to be flat, so it's not really that detailed. Seats will look good, but it doesn't really appear to be that detailed. So I'm going to chip in there. More stripes in the run the boot area. It's all for the 1967 Pontiac GTO, so let's go on to the next car. One of the Best hypercars in the world, part of the Holy Hypercar Trinity, the McLaren P1. Beautiful one. Let's go to the package so we have guaranteed for life. 363 65. Hot Wheels, McLaren P1, then a now, 8 out of 10. Then a now, McLaren P1. I think the this is a now version, the then is the McLaren F1. Just three and up. Because I've never seen an F1 once. Like that. I don't know why, but I didn't think to pick it up. Clear P1, then an L. Cars from the past and present. Can you collect all five pairs? I'd love to, but these are starting to get a little rare. This the 2017 ones. Which I was collection. Copyright McLaren. It's all for this package, but that said, let's open this beauty up. As you see, that was a really hard package to open, really a big pain in the butt. But anyway, let's look at the McLaren P1. So, we have a kind of gray accented PR5s. A little bit of red inside. I think it's where the window's supposed to be, but I just made the interior red. It's black. Gray plastic base. McLaren P1, 1060 Patel. Takes in the bullet. Headlights, air dam, a little bit of detail on it. There's a intake, it's, I'm pretty sure it's managing the electric motors in the front. That's how the McLaren P1 works on the cars and the, the other two cars, the 918 and the LFRRI, the other two cars in the Holy Hypercar Trinity. That's how they can how they work. That's one in the back, tail lights. Can't really see the exhaust. That might be the exhaust. I think that might be it right there. A little bit of intakes right there. You have a pretty good view of the interior. It's pretty detailed. It's red. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, I've looked at one of these cars before. I, I had one of one of my unboxing videos. Though it's not a boring car, so a lot of the stuff I've mentioned, but Still, it is a beautiful car, but let's go on to the next car. This one's pretty heavy. It's a Porsche 934.5. It is basically a tuned version of the normal 934 Turbo RSR. Her 
kind of like the one I have, I might do a comparison. But let's just take a look at the package for now. Guarantee for life, 153 out of 365. Hot Wheels, new for 2017. The car itself, 4 out of 10, factory fresh. Portion 934.5, each 3 and up. Oh, yeah, it's new, so. We get something to read. Case coding, lifetime warranty. So let's read the fact sheet. So we have born 1977, birthplace Stuttgart, Germany. Designer Porsche. Specialty with exaggerated bodywork, slant nose front, and massive rear wing. The Porsche 934.5 may be considered an odd-looking machine, but this machine was built to purely dominate the track. With 10 ever made, this rare gem with its 3-liter, 590-horsepower turbo engine has constantly crushed the competition with its highly coveted jewel in the collector world. It is now a highly collected jewel in the collector world. It's fresh. Oh, that's a nice end. That's a nice end. So, for 10, factory fresh, highly detailed cutting design. It's getting the driver's seat for turn heads. Case coding. No, it's not case coding. Bill Drive collection copyright. Yeah, Porsche copyright. But that's all for the package of the 934.5, and let's open the car up. So here's the 934.5 out of the package, and yes, it is quite good looking. But let's take a look at the car. It's, it's, it's really massive. This a huge body kit in the back. It's just massive in the back. So let's take a look. BBS wheels in kind of dark gray and intake. Porsche. Gray plastic base. 360 metal. Headlights, Porsche logo, intakes and indicators, and air dam. A little bit of a body kit right there. Headlights are detailed. Same as the other side, we have an intake right there. Massive for your spoiler. Dual exhaust, massive intakes. No, I don't think any tail lights at all. It's all been moved before. I don't think it's street legal. It's left hand drive, unfortunately. It's kind of red. The interior is kind of a red color. I think there are racing seats in there. You can see a manual. Yeah. So. I'll be back in a minute because I'm going to get my normal 934. We'll do a comparison. So here's the normal 934, it's the Turbo RSR version. They're both technically 911s, but Sport 2 versions. So honestly, the front seems a little larger than that. I mean, it's not the fenders, it just seems a little larger. I don't think I used the mod copy a mold and modified it. It's hard to pick out the sides. Yeah, it looks a little tweaked. Doesn't really look like they copied the mold or anything. Yeah, but oh well, at least for a distance they still look pretty good. But it's all for the 934.5. Let's go into the next car. One of my all time favorite BMWs. The BMW M4. Well, with that said, let's take a look at the package. Guarantee for life, 154 and 365. Hot Wheels, M4, 8 or 10, factory fresh. Logo. Case coating. New M4. Highly detailed cutting inch design. Just getting the driver's seat prepared to turn heads. Put your always collection. Blah blah blah. Trademark BMW is a licensed product. So it's like 30 seconds. Seconds to look through the package, but it's all for the package. So with that said, let's open up the car. Though I never really looked at that much in the package, but it's just beautiful. I don't get like how like really cool it looks, but 
So we have a uh, five spoke and chrome with the fuel filler door. It's a black plastic base. Nothing really. It's uh, kind of a steel gray color. And taking the side. Well, it's not nothing much. And take right there. We have headlights. They're kind of out of position. The traditional BMW grill. Air dim and some intakes inside. Guessing fog lights are on the top. Same as the other side. It's pretty detailed on the back. We do logo, license plate, tail lamps. It's M4. Dual exhaust. Some intakes again. Probably some indicators. Not really detailed, but let's get to the beautiful part of the window. I just love that because I think the real M4 is supposed to have a kind of a carbon fiber roof or maybe a panoramic sunroof, but it definitely carbon fiber roof. But that just looks amazing. And you also get a really good view of the interior. Seems like it might be a manual. I think I see bow shift in there actually. But the interior seems pretty detailed. That's all for the BMW M4, so let's go on to the next car. Here we have the classic Dodge Viper. This is a Dodge Viper RT10. Yes, this one. <sighs> Amazing looking machine. So, <clears throat> let's take a look at it. Guaranteed for life. 340 on 365. Hot Wheels logo. Viper itself. 9.5.10. Then and now. Assuming the now is a new Viper, I think it's the 215 Viper SRT. You just three and up. He's going like the warranty, that's Viper RT10. Then and now, cars from the past and present. Can you collect all five pairs? 9 out of 10, but you're always collection, copyright, dodge. Marco, yeah, he's just three and up. That's all for the Don Spiper RT10. But with that said, let's open the car up. For a Hot Wheels car first in the 90s, this Viper is pretty, pretty detailed actually. But let's take a look at the car. So we have BR5 wheels in chrome, it's white. So I'll stick it on the side. I know the two Mattel made in Malaysia. Stripe the side, Hot Wheels logo. Dodge Viper RT10. Some intakes right there. Large air dam. Actually, the grill, but just no Dodge Viper grill. Headlights. Fog lights. Stripes in the ball with Alcy look at the Shelby stripes. <laughs> That's uh for uh Ford Viper. Same as the other side. We know this is a convertible, so you can see inside pretty well. Tail lamps. Can't see the exhaust. The beep. I think this thing has six C pillar sticking out. Good place for the license plate. The interior, it's black, has a manual. Maybe not that detailed, but still. Like Handbrake seats. And that's it for the Dodge Viper RT10, so let's go on to the next car. A really beautiful one, we have the 250 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT. Or more like Mercedes AMG GT. Let's take a look at the package, it's a beautiful color. 
So guaranteed for life, 338 and 365, Hobby Wheels new for 2017. 2 out of 10, HW Exotics. I have Genesis stuck in my head right now. Still pretty good, pretty good music for cars, because they're car guys. Mercedes Benz AMG. Every petrol head has to like Genesis Phil Collins. Case Cody, lifetime warranty. Since a new car, we have a fact sheet. Born 2015, birthplace, Affolter Bach, Germany. Designer, Mercedes AMG. 50 Mercedes AMG GT. Designed with the performance in the mind, the Mercedes AMG GT, with its clean lines and carbon fiber body, looks elegant on the outside, but definitely packs a powerful punch under the bonnet. The 4 liter V8 delivers at 462 horsepower. Delivers 462 horsepower, blasting from 0 to 16 3.9 seconds. I wasn't to make an AMG GT, honestly. Don't know what the heck that is. Food stain, probably, I don't know, since it was a Kroger's at the grocery store. The Kroger's is actually trying to, 2 out of 10, Supersonics, so Kroger's is actually trying to compete with like Walmart and Meyer now. They've kind of gone beyond grocery, and they're starting to get crazy, and they're starting to sell furniture. But, let's get back to cars, so. Which I was collection, tra copyright, trademark, these bins. AMG. Just three and up. It's all for the package. Let's open the car up. So here's the AMG out of the box. I don't have to say it's beautiful looking. Now I might have mentioned Hall Wheels does need to make a, make a Mercedes Benz AMG GGR. That'd be so cool. It's one of my online two favorite all time favorite supercars now. One of them at least. So you have that kind of five spoke rims and chrome. Nice orange color. Mercedes AMG GT. It's got 16 Mattel. Black plastic base. Intake right there. Takes in the bonnet. Mercedes logo. The headlights. Honestly, it's not it's not that way in the real version, but they kind of look like bug guys, kind of. Something like diecast. See his logo. The traditional grill and air dam and intakes on the side. Same as the other side. The back. Mercedes. MG. Can't tell what that says. Well, the tail lamps are kind of out of position. I can't really focus that well because my camera's acting up. Oh yeah, my battery just went low. It's about to conk out in any minute now. Let's see how much MPG I can get out of it. License plate. Dual exhaust. Here it looks pretty detailed. Most hobby cars today are pretty detailed. It's black. But that's all for the Mercedes Benz AMG GT. Let's go on to the next car. Now, my next car is this 80s Monster RX7, but as you see, I have both the then and the now versions, so that's pretty cool. But we're going to take a look at the 80s RX7 first, which is plainly known as the Mazda RX7. That was from the 80s, I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look at the package then. So the RX-7 itself. Hot Wheels logo, guaranteed for life. 337 on 365. 4 out of 10, then and now. Monster RX-7, it's just 3 and up. Because we know the now version is the 95 RX-7. Case coding, warranty. Mazda RX-7, then and now, street signs, 4 out of 10, cars from the past and the present, can you collect all five pairs, I can just remember that, 
We'll drop his collection. Justine Mattel, Mattel, Mazda, copyright Mazda. Just bring it up. Yeah, the package. So let's open the scar up. So here's the RX-7 out of the package, and yes, I love RX-7, it's one of my favorite JDMers, in fact, someone in my neighborhood owns an RX-7, don't know if I'll be able to get my hands on to do a UAR, because I'm guessing too chicken, but, so, David Michelson's parents know someone who owns an RX-7, and I might be able to talk to them about a UAR, so I do have a chance to do a UAR on a 95 Mazda RX-7, so, like 93 to 2002, I think, they made an RX-7, but, Let's take a look at this one. So we have PR5s, one of my favorite Hot Wheels wheels. Stripes on the side, Hot Wheels. Nice blue color. Plastic base, Gen 1 Mattel. I actually have another one of these. I think they removed the roll cage because it's supposed to be like a drift car and they I think they removed the roll cage. This car is because it's the older versions that have a roll cage. I have one of these. Bonnet, Mazda. Stripes on it, the bonnet. Oh no, I don't want to scrape. Large air dam and it takes the side. Same as the other side. Stripes and all this logo. Tail lights. Single exhaust, but still, they're pretty peppy. Nice large spoiler. Tail lamps. The license plate would go. The interior, it is right hand drive, fortunately. It's a manual. It's black, black, it's black. Plastic like most Hot Wheels interiors. And it's all for the Mazda RX-7, the 80s one. Let's go into the 90s one. So this is probably my favorite out of all of the cars, the 95 Mazda RX-7. Yes, it is just utterly beautiful. It's one of the best JDMers ever. Maybe not my favorite JDMer, but I love the RX-7, one of my top 10. So take a look at the package. Guarantee of our life, I kind of have to hurry a little bit because my camera's about to conk out on me. 336 out of 365. Hot Wheels, new for Gen 17. Mazda RX-7, 3 out of 10, then and now. 85 Mazda RX-7. Just 3 and up. It's a new one, so we have a fact sheet. Coding lifetime warranty. So apparently my camera cut off and I finished talking about what I was talking about. So we were reading the fact sheet, so read it. So born 1995, birthplace, Japan. They didn't put like a state of Japan or anything. Probably because they knew I was gonna say something racist. <laughs> Designer Mazda. So let's read the description. With twin turbochargers and a powerful rotary engine, the Mazda RX-7 FD was designed full throttle in mind. Its amazing acceleration and razor-sharp razor steering appears to, to all that craves some fast fun, on the straight and or on the track. 3 out of 10, cars from the present. Can collect all five pairs, we'll draw this collection. Copyright, Mazda. It's all for the back. It's all for the package, so... So open this beauty up, probably the most beautiful hole of them, I think. And before I start, I do want to point out some scratches on the bonnet, as you see there. But otherwise, I like the blue, it's the same color as the 80s RX-7, so let's take a look at it. These special 5-spoke wheels, I really like those. Plastic base, not really much inside, intake and indicator. I must have accepted in Malaysia. I think they're all made in Malaysia. I know Thailand made them. The headlights are pop ups. Indicators, air dam, some vents. Fog lights in there. Mazda logo. You love the RX 7. I love how it looks. Same as the other side. So the fuel filler door. Indicators. Spoiler, tail lamps, nicely detailed. 
Do exhaust. Hot Wheels logo. There's a little spot where you probably put your key to open up the boot. More indicators. Interior, you can see through it. Unfortunately, it's left hand drive. It's kind of a goldish brown color. But you can see inside very easily, so it's a manual. Chair looks detailed. But all in all, very nice looking car and a very awesome looking car, too. But it's all for the 95 Mazda RX 7. And that's all for this video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's video. I hope you like it. So be sure to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button for more unboxing videos and others like my UAR, my vehicle reviewing series in the channel for tornado sirens and storm footage because, you know, in my area we can get some good storms, maybe not some extreme ones, but some pretty good ones. So that's all for today's video, and goodbye.